So we are thinking about quitting golf. Hmm, good luck. If you still didn't quit playing golf, I am going to give you not one, but seven reasons why you should quit golf and one reason why you shouldn't. The article with the same topic that I published on my website mariobecky.com is the most read post in the world about quitting golf. I will link it into the description of this video. But if you are impatient and you want to quit playing golf as fast as possible, watch this video. For those who don't know me, my name is Mario Becchi. I am a psychologist and for over a decade I am working with people who want to achieve better results in sport, school or life. Majority of my clients are golfers, so today I am going to share with you real data that I gathered from real people from around the world, from places like Sydney, Paris, Stockholm, Miami, San Diego. This list is endless. Even though they are from all possible corners of this planet, we have a lot in common. We love playing golf. But you, you are thinking about quitting golf. Stay calm, because I can help you with that. The fact is, golf is tough. Once you fall into the trap of playing it, it will grab you and probably never let you go. You will spend a lot of time by playing it. You will spend even more money by staying with the most recent trends. It will bite into your family life and it will sneak also into your bedroom. Some will be fortunate enough to have a family that loves golfing. The others will have a hard time finding appropriate alternatives to the family's plans, how to spend weekends and holidays. Some of you will be even lucky to play it so well that it will become their everyday bread. And yet, even then, it will be a tough not to be cracked because life on tour isn't easy. You will dream about the best rounds and have nightmares about your worst rounds. Golf is a way of life. You will think about it during business meetings as well as during the most intimate moments in your life. Golf will occupy your mind all the time. You will calculate the budget for Christmas presents depending on expenses of buying brand new irons. Will this all bother you? No, it won't because you are obsessed with it. You are a golfaholic and it isn't bothering you at all. Golf is the way of life, the curse and the blessing. But are there indicators which are telling you that you should stop playing it? Let's look at 7 reasons why you should probably consider to quitting golf. Disclaimer. You must watch this video until the end because only then you will understand fully its purpose. So here's the list of 7 things why you should quit golf and one why you shouldn't. Reason number one. You should quit golf because your game sucks. Your inability to play golf good enough for your expectations is demotivating you. Reason number two. You should quit golf because you have self-depreciating attitude. No matter if your score is below par, your own evaluation can make it stink. Reason number three. You should quit golf because you are spending too much time with golf. Golf is killing your social life, man. Stop it. Reason number four. You should quit golf because you are spending too much money on golf. You are clearly spending too much money over your reasonable limit. Reason number five, you should quit golf because your golf club is not prestigious enough. You have no faith that one day can arise even from your golf club a player, maybe even you who will become a legendary champion. Reason number six, you should quit golf because of your playing partners. You are in too much of an influence from your golfing partners. Reason number seven, you should quit golf because of your golf pro. Your golf pro isn't giving you as much attention as you expected from him or her. But why you shouldn't quit golf? You should not quit golf because of your mental game. Even if it's weak, you feel that it could be better. 
you think that the mental game is for tour players only and everything you need is a motivation and focus. Let's conclude this. Reason number one. You should quit golf because your golf sucks. You should probably start to think about quitting playing golf if you are finding yourself in following situation. After objective and long-term observation of your game, you will have a clear proof that you just can't play golf. Your body can't create a motion for a sufficient flight of the ball. You practice under keen eyes of multiple PGA Tour champions and they are telling you the same. You are a hopeless hack that just wastes his own time and funds by pursuing unrealistic dream. Reason number two. You should quit golf because you have self-depreciating attitude. Your game might be relatively okay, however, your attitude is self-destroying. You are watching yourself with the eyes of biased critic. Your rounds can be under 80 in average, which is better than the rest of the golfing world, but there is always this doubt inside of you. There are these thoughts in your head that are putting you down. You suck. You are a lame. You are a hack. Stop playing it. It's a waste of time. These and similar sentences are constantly on your mind and you can't get away from them. Reason number three why you should quit playing golf. You should quit golf because you are spending too much time with golf. Your relationship with your partner, with your kids, with your best friend is close to the end just because you can't stop thinking about golf. There are countless holidays, birthdays and anniversaries that you totally forgot about. Reason number four. You should quit playing golf because you are spending too much money on golf. Your annual income might be over a million dollars, but still, it seems that you have not enough money when browsing through the new golf catalogs. Your accountant is calling you too often in concern about your financial balance. You sold your weekend house just to play Pebble Beach once a week, even though it's several hundreds miles away. Reason number five. You should quit playing golf because your golf club is not prestigious enough. There was no one in the history of your golf club who made it. Golfing in your club isn't what you expected it to be when you started playing with this beautiful game. Many times you'd like to brag that this or that golfing legend once started here. You would like to tell stories about famous tournaments that were held there. But the truth is, what's around you is just not special. What you see is average clubhouse, average practicing round, average golf course. Could be possible that one day this would be a birthplace of an extraordinary golfer? Who knows? Reason number six. You should quit golf because of your playing partners. They are either way too good for you or the opposite. One way or the other, it's really not giving you that ultimate boost to play with or against them. What you wish is that they would be challenging playing partners. What you would like to see is a bit of variety. Every round with them is the same. Instead of that, your rounds are just like working in park or disappointment. Who would want that? I totally understand. No one. Reason number seven. You should quit golf because of your golf pro. Once you started with golf, you were energized by going to the practice and learning new types of shots. You loved to pull car on the golf course parking lot and rushed onto the practicing. However, once you learned the basics, many things changed. Now your golf pro is way too often occupied with own business. Therefore, you are getting a little attention. It already seems that you learned everything what your golf player could teach you. All the time he's on the phone and uh, you don't see progress in your improvement anymore. Is this the end of your golfing journey? Do you feel that this is everything that golf has to offer? But there is this one reason. You should not quit golf because your mental game is weak. Your game on driving range is well. You can play decent rounds when you are playing all by yourself. However, 
everything is different in tournaments. You can get distracted very easily and from that moment your score is in danger. Once you get into the trouble, it seems to stick into your game and all practicing loses its purpose. If only you could get control over your emotions, you tried motivation, you tried reading some articles or maybe even books. All this was nice theory, but the reality is different. Your next step should be going from struggle into something new. Why are some golfers good and you are not? That is a great question. Is golf nothing but ongoing struggle for majority of golfers? Do you really have to care about several reasons why you should quit golf? Let me give you a serious question now. It's a personal one, so take it personally as it gets. Why do you play golf in the first place? I play golf for one reason and one reason only. I play golf because of one specific feeling. Now let's talk about a sweet spot. For me it's indescribable, incomparable and nothing will stop me from playing golf. I play golf just because of that amazing feeling of hitting a sweet spot off the club head when sending golf ball into the distance. I love that feeling. When I manage to keep internal balance, transform it into a mechanical movement and then create that shot that I visualized. Expectations of repeating of this feeling is what creates a smile on my face in the morning of a day when I know that I'm going to play golf again. I love walking from parking lot towards the course and feeling that soft grass under my feet. The feeling of a great shot is the engine behind my passion for golf. I know that I need to push myself to keep my internal balance because everything in golf stands on balanced mind. Once you learn to control your mind, you are set to control also your whole game. I love to simplify my thoughts so that my golf remains fun. I love to control my breath intensity and think about sequence so that every moment of the swing in my head is clear. Yes, my game isn't perfect, but whose game is perfect? Golf is a game within a game. Why do you play golf and why you should quit golf? Fortunately, I learned several smart tricks in my psychology career. The one thing that works in golf is to stay calm, but not as you might think. Why do you play golf? What others may perceive as a struggle, you could look at as a blessing. You may have a zillions of reasons to stop playing golf and many of them may be objective. It is up to you how you will evaluate your situation. However, if you feel that you need simplify your thinking in your golf, I can show you how you can do it. In the description of this video, you will find a link to a true story about golfers who didn't quit. Instead of that, they decided to start using something completely new. Alright, if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. This is the headquarters for the mental game of golf and you can find here more than 100 videos, which you can use for free for your improvement in the game of golf. If you still don't believe that this is what really works, go to my website mariobecky.com and you will find there a proof how simple golf can be when you will start with simple golf psychology. Thanks for watching, my name is Mario Becky and we will see us on the golf course somewhere. I don't know where. You know what? Write me in the comments below where do you golf most of the time. Have a great golfing day and we will see us. Ciao!